Uh, my name is Pema Churin Siring and I look after the development of women's football at the Bhutan Football Federation and I also play for the senior national team. I started working for the Bhutan Football Federation last year and as the assistant head of women's football and now currently serving as the head of women's football. My name is Chu Kyom. Uh, I'm an active women referee of Bhutan Football Federation and a registered referee under FIFA as well as an elite women referee of AFC. I've been in this job for the past 13 years. My name is uh, Tishto Jongmo and I'm working as club licensing manager with the competition department. Uh, it's been almost three years that I've been working with Bhutan Football Federation. My name is Chikyongmo. I am the commercial manager at Bhutan Football Federation. Besides commercial, I also look after safeguarding. So I'm a safeguarding focal person and currently I'm pursuing a diploma in safeguarding children, which is organized by FIFA. Plus, I look after the commercialization of the ground, generating revenues from the ground. My name is Pumchushim Pem and I'm currently serving as the Assistant Administrative Officer for Bhutan Football Federation. And I have been serving in this position since 2019. One of my favorite parts about working as the person looking after women's football is the fact that uh, as a player myself to be on the other side of the field and look at the management bit of it that's a lot of fun as well and also working on a lot of FIFA and AFC projects and collaborating with all the international experts and working with various uh, stakeholders within our country as well that's been a lot of fun and also right now currently the women's department it's just myself so it's been a lot of a challenge but regardless I've had tremendous support from the various departments like the media department, the technical department and it's always been a learning journey. Uh, every day I learn something new so that's really exciting. Like to talk about the journey of my life, about the refereeing, like back into the school I was like especially into the playing football. Then after that like uh, my school coach, the, he said that uh, go for the refereeing course so I went for course in 2008 for refereeing after that like uh, I thought it was just for fun so then uh, BFS started calling me for the grassroots programs then during the winter I went for the uh, like school tournaments grassroots tournaments and then slowly until my uh, college it was like uh, just a fun to do refereeing it was just like a passion then after finishing college, I totally like got focused in refereeing. Then uh, in 2017, I got registered under FIFA. Then uh, in 2017 only, I got like uh, invitation for recruitment of AFC Elite Women Referee. Then I went for it and I got selected as AFC uh, Elite Referee in 2017. Then in, I got the appointment for uh, staff under 15 in Bangladesh. I got the opportunity to do the final between India and Bangladesh, which is the beginning, uh, very beginning of my achievement. Uh, the interesting thing about my work is that I get an opportunity to closely interact with the football clubs. Through that, I, can, uh, I learn how the football clubs are being managed and what are the difficulties they are facing. Though I'm not involved in any kind of projects or workshops that uh, dismiss gender discriminations. Uh, what I believe is uh, my work, uh, club licensing itself is a small initiative taken by uh, our federation, EFC and FIFA to raise the concern of gender discriminations. That is, uh, through club licensing, uh, we uh, encourage uh, clubs owning a men's team to also uh, form a women's team. We also uh, mandate uh, clubs to give an equal platform and opportunity to the women's coaches. So that's how I believe uh, club licensing play a small role in uh, dismissing the gender discrimination. I have been handling this job, this tax for more than three years. This year will be my fourth year. An interesting fact about handling this tax is I get a chance to meet lo a lot of people both locally and internationally, which is good for my PR. So PR plays a vital role in my field. I have been engaged in decision making in football when it comes to commercial because we need to generate revenues and on top of that we have to look for the potential partners for BEFF so like I'm involved in that. 
Women's participation in decision making and in football is really important in order to create a conductive environment and also to encourage others to the women's participation in organization issues. Gender equality, as per my perception, I think it's something to do with equal rights, responsibilities and opportunities given to both men and female, uh, be it the athletes, be it the employees. Um, that's what I perceive gender equality as. And I think the gender equality, it starts right from the time when you were born. Regarding my perspective on the inclusion of women's representation in decision making, in BFF, I think it is very crucial because it is not regarding who you are as an individual, it is regarding us as an organization who strive to work for the betterment of the organization. And as um, if there is less number of female representation, there are more chances that the female's perspectives may not be highlighted. So I think it's very important to represent, to have um, maximum number of female representation in these decision-making bodies. Well, obviously, looking after women's football, most of the development concerning women's football has to, you know, I have to be involved in it, but it's just not myself. Like I said earlier, I have to collaborate with the various divisions and departments within the Federation, and along with the external stakeholders as well. So decision-making is part of the job as well. So one of the FIFA projects that we took on last year was the league development. And because of the financial and technical support from FIFA, we were able to uh, include a lot more teams in the National Women's League. And I think that increased the number of participation as well as our reach. Uh, we had three additional new teams and we also took the National Women's League down to Gelufu, Samtsi, uh, and Punaka obviously has always been part of it, as well as Paro, but we had some new teams from Timpu, Samti and Kelefula. We didn't really do any projects or workshop as such that minimizes gender discrimination, but under the capacity building of our coaches under the League Development Project, we organized a workshop last year where we had a FIFA expert come in. And during the workshop, we discussed the impacts of the menstrual cycle on the fitness of our girls. And I think the fact that we were able to have a safe and an open space where even our male uh, counterparts were happy to discuss issues specific to female, I think that's a step towards minimizing any sort of discrimination and being comfortable to discuss uh, female specific issues. Though. I think with any decision making to have very diverse perspective is very important. So to have female representatives in decision making provides that diversity. Hence, it's very important to involve females in decision making. For that, I have done lots of domestic leagues as well as uh, international tournaments. And the very recent achievement is the final, officiating the finals of SEA Games between uh, Thailand and Vietnam. Since I'm the only female referee who is officiating the men's top league in our country, uh, till date I haven't faced uh, such difficulties as our male referees does, but then the few of the shortcomings that I face is keeping my fitness at par with the other male referees as well as the players in the field of play. A woman's working uh with the competition department and coordinating a few of the uh, men's competitions, top competitions itself is a great achievement in the field of women empowerment. In my opinion, football or sport is actually a leading pack in terms of gender equality. In a sport industry, people are much more aware of gender equality. So when I first joined the office, I felt like everyone was aware of how important gender equality is. And from what I see now, there are a lot of things put into a place to make sure that women have a voice in every part of department or committee. So we see one or two women in every department in a good position, which is a good sign. Bhutan Football Federation is trying to give equal opportunities for both um, men and women, um, athletes, employees, and for those who work on the technical side. Uh, as you can see, for the girls' academy based at Galifo, we have uh, all the female coaches recruited, and we have the female uh, HR administrators recruited, and for the girl, uh, boys' academy based here at Chan Jiji, we have the male coaches out here. Uh, however, uh, we can see the difference in the numbers of female representations compared to the men and, uh, we, and there is less number of um, 
female representations uh, in the decision making body as of now. I feel that uh, gender equality is about ensuring that um, that every individual, be it men, women, boys or girls, are provided with equal opportunities uh, whereby they get a platform to showcase their talents if the opportunities are provided to them. Gender is a social construct, so having said that, it would be unfair to push things or discriminate things based on gender, but unfortunately, that's not the reality of the world. And football, since it's such a physical sport, obviously, especially for uh, Bhutan as well, slightly conservative in our nature, um, some of the parents do feel like it's a sport specific to men, so there's some discouragement from the parents to send their girls into football. But we are seeing an increase in a number of participants and a lot of girls are taking up football so that's breaking gender barriers in its own way. Having said that I think it's very important especially at the grassroots level that we encourage our girls and boys to play together and I know from a technical perspective as well it is fine up until the age of 12 for them to mix around and play together and it is important for us to encourage our young ones to not associate things based on gender so if they learn such things at such an early age I think growing up it will make things and world a lot easier and better. So I urge every woman to stay forward, show your talent, show your skills because uh, it's the 21st century and well men can do it, we as a woman we can do as them as well. So where I can do it, you can do it as well. Our country is uh, not culturally handicapped like other countries where women are not allowed to do this or do that. So what I believe is that our girls and women should take this opportunity because the cerebral opportunity is given to every individual irrespective of their gender. So that's why we should come forward and take up different kind of roles. I feel that gender equality is essential for the economic prosperity. Society that values both men and women as equal are safer and healthier. Gender equality is a human right, so I encourage all the women out there to grab the opportunity and shine. Um, finally, my kind of advice for the women and girls would be to take risks, um, come to the forefront, move forward and never give up on your dreams. There is gender discrimination, unfortunately that's the sad truth, but that shouldn't restrict us from pursuing what we want to do or doing whatever we want. I think we need to fight, stick, stick together and look for support, ask for help where necessary and you know, stay strong, keep your head up and just move forward. And I want to wish you all Happy Women's International Day. Happy International Women's Day. I'd like to wish every woman all around the world a very happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day.